The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports has presented scholarships to two athletes under the new and emerging athlete policy. Ryan O'Brien has the details. Two of the island's emerging athletes have received scholarships from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports as it continues developing its elite and emerging athlete policy. <laughs> the policy will see young athletes receiving financial support from the ministry to ensure they are able to take their skills and talents to higher levels. Checks were presented recently to table tennis player DeAndre Cauldron and athlete Naomi London. We recognize that some of our athletes are in need of a lot of financial support and this is one of the areas we are looking at where it comes to the new policy that we are in the process of developing. This morning we will see two of our emerging athletes in the name of DeAndre Cauldron and Naomi London mm -hmm. receiving checks as part of the elite and emerging athlete program. Um, we have other athletes who have received financial support through this program but this morning we are officially handing over checks to these two athletes and in the near future all of the other athletes who make the elite and emerging program will also receive financial support from the ministry. I'm very thankful this morning for the Ministry of Youth and Sports for undertaking such an initiative in terms of providing assistance to our young athletes, um, being in track and field and coaching for a while. This has been one of the challenges for our young athletes in St. Lucia in terms of finance, um, equipment and what have you. So <coughs> coming on board with such a program I think is a big step in the right direction. Some of the athletes are already saying that they need to work hard to ensure that they get onto a program with the Ministry of Defense Sports. So it's, it's athletes are already starting to be, want to be like those athletes that's already on the program. So it is very good. I explained it to other athletes and they said, wow, that is great. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Wells is Cauldron's coach and took the opportunity to express his pride in the achievement of the young athletes. I'm so proud of the two young athletes who are, are now going to be an example for many young persons in St. Lucia to actually follow that hard work actually pays off. And I'd also like to continue encouraging parents out there, as well as the parents we have here with us today for trusting us coaches to work with your kids. That's a big responsibility. So we're thanking you for allowing us to have that impact on your, on your kids in a positive way. And also like to always keep thanking our Ministry of Youth Development and Sports for always continuing to spearhead our efforts and to give us the backing that we need to, to create top and emerging athletes for St. Lucia. Isabel Alexander Marquis, is a school sports coordinator at the ministry. She reminded the athletes that their hard work paid off and disclosed that she had been following their progress during the various events put on by the ministry. I know how much work and effort you put into it. I know how much the coaches and your parents have been behind you for you to succeed. This is a lesson to all other athletes out there that indeed you must put in the effort, you must put in the hours, you must put in the hard work and do not give up. In your, in your aspirations to your goals. Every one of us, once we are serious sports persons, we know where we want to reach, whether it's the Olympics or just regional or even just maintaining our physical fitness. So let me once again encourage you to continue on the path that you are heading and um, the ministry is always there to support you. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, Caroline Eugene commended the athletes on their achievements and urged them to continue striving for excellence. From the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, I'm Ryan O'Brien.